Hi guys, woo! Welcome back to my channel. Happy fucking new year, new year, new decade. Bye 2019. Bye Felicia. How is everyone? I hope everyone's had a brilliant night. So sorry I haven't posted recently. I have been like beyond busy. Um, so so much going on. I'll tell you about it in a minute. First things first, how's your Christmas been? I hope everyone's had a brilliant Christmas. First, what about presents? How did everyone get on with their wrapping? If you don't know how to wrap presents, then just watch this, get a few tips. I'm looking a little bit like Santa. It's Christmas Eve and I need to start um, thinking about wrapping my presents. Now there is a little bit of an um, issue with that. I've just came to look for some sellotape and I might have not planned well yeah i haven't got any so what i found is three different types of tape that i think might be suitable for um wrapping well when i say suitable i mean it's the only ones i've got so i've got packing tape which is brown which is quite festive you know like trees and stuff i've also got Fragile tape, which again could be, you know, suitable because some of the items that I'm going to be packing, packing, no, not packing, uh, wrapping, are fragile. And I've got another tape of fragile. So fragile is looking the likely one, the winner, or. I have post-it notes, different colours, but I don't think they're strong enough. So we'll rule them out, rule these out, sorry about my hair. Let's start wrapping. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's, oh, it's nerve-wracking, isn't it? Right, so I've got some ho ho ho, oh shit. <sighs> got no scissors, are scissors essential? And don't judge, I'm having a coke, it's Christmas. Holidays are coming, but also diabetes is coming. I'll have to go and get some scissors. Now the scissors I normally use, um, I use to cut the fat off bacon, and I did have some bacon last night. So, let's hope there's no, no bacon. Otherwise, someone's getting um, fat on the present. By the time this comes out, it'll be Christmas day, so people will know what they've got, so it doesn't matter. That's mine, that's not a present. So I've got my tape, which is fragile, which is, you know, I'm not lying, it is fragile. So, ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Something that you shouldn't say in the hood. Because you will get, certainly put on the naughty list. Recycle, recycle. Oh. This is from Sainsbury's. Trying something different. Oh my god, I can't cope. I haven't started yet and I can't cope. Oh god. Right. Put that there. Right. How do you know how to do this? Like, who teaches you? One. Two. I'm just guessing. You. I'm just guessing. There. Surely that's got to be enough. Oh, I hope I get a scissor glide. Oops. Oh shit. There goes the uh, uh, Amazon Echo. Oh look, I've got a glide. I've got a glide. Right. First up, we've got Queen Vinyl. Always check for prices. There's Freddy, R.I.P. Oh, oh my god, look at that. Like, I'm an expert. I am literally an expert at this. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
I shouldn't really be leaning on this vinyl to be fair. Probably not the best idea. Oh, shit. Right, I'm just gonna... So what you do is you just fold it, can you see? So what I've done, I've just folded it. So I'm taking my fragile tape that you can get from most post offices. I always like to do that, can you see that? I always like to just put that on the end of a table so you don't lose the end. It's just a little, little tip for you there. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh for, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I'm using that. I'm using it. I'm using it. So, just get your bit of cellar tape. Now, another hack. If you can't, because I'm obviously doing this by myself, you can use your scissors um, to put on top of the paper to, you know, keep the paper down. Now I like to do this, the folding thing. Um, it's, a, it's an ancient technique. So now I'm going to have to use the scissors to, I'll use my phone, use my phone, so there, oh, for fuck's sake, oh look I've got it, oh, that's non-usable, non-usable, this is looking really nice guys, so as you can tell, looking good, I'm just going to fold the edges in, Now, I find if you've got a bit of an overhang, just scru scrunch it in. Right, I forgot what it was. I wouldn't like to do this for a full-time job. Just That's just preference. Really, really loving the vinyl air resurgence. A bit late to save HMB, but you know, it's alright, isn't it, that? It's probably a reason I shouldn't be doing that with my mouth. That could be said about a lot of things at Christmas, do you know what I mean? Oh, got a bit of a baggy situation here. That's alright, isn't it? Oh, I'm running low on fragile. Running low on fragile. Do you know what I'm going to do? Because I haven't got a pen. Because it is a pink album. I'm going to use a pink post-it. You can't say that's not clever. Right, next one, we've got the Amazon Echo. So how much do we need for this bad boy? I think that's too much. I think this might be too much. You take this off, plastic. I'm keeping it on in case we have to return them. Well, I've got a bit of fragile stuck. So that's how I do a box. Obviously I'm going to do the ends, don't worry. So yeah, you just do it like that and then push it in. That's what he said. And then I think that's all right, isn't it? Now some people use three different things for this. I just use one across. I find that more, you know, suitable for the environment. And there, and you just do it again. Look, <sighs> honestly. Oh shit, what's that? <gasps> oh my god. Oh well. I took the top of the, um, what is that? I took the bloody top of the table off. The fragile, not that fragile, oh my god. Echo done, yeah I'm on fire me. Can I just say the level of packaging from a certain um, provider is insane. I'm losing the way to live. 
Losing the boat underneath, I frigged up my cable. See, what I'm liking about this is the fragile paper, is uh, the fragile tape is going with the paper. So I think that's really good. You can get some sort of tape. I'm all, and if you want to mix it up, go that way. There you go, rattling through these on guys. Right, now for some of the more bigger things. Oh god, I can't I can't cope with the big thing. Right, I'll do this first because it's so this is a a CD thing. So when you size some things up, I just tend to guess. I'd rather have two more than two less because there's no worse than getting through half your wrapping. And then realising you haven't got enough. Oh. Not much of a scissor glide there. I like to have a bit more of a scissor glide if I'm honest. So this is a record, um, not a record, a CD bag. So for someone to put their CDs in. So there's no... Um... I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling a bit with this one. Oh! Oh shit. I think it might, guys. Don't think there's enough. What's that actual hell? Oh my god. Why well, not enough? What? Right, we'll have to put this to one side. I'm not happy about that, like. How's that? That looks big. How the hell has that happened? The fuck? No. Oh, this should fit. Oh, for God's sake. <gasps> See, that echo's got some hammering. Right, these are curtains. These are for me nana because she's had her room done out. And her curtains. Oh, that's fine. We're in blackout ones, so there was hell on. I don't normally buy household stuff there. Put me finger through that. That's all right. Another tip, if you put your finger through the paper, just squash it a bit more and like work round it. I think I'm gonna have to put a bit of fragile tape over my error. But you know, quite a lot of here. I'm just gonna go like that. Oh, lovely. A bit of fragile there. This isn't fragile, so obviously it's a little bit of a red heron. Don't worry, guys. You think I'd snap me jaw there? Morning, guys. Merry Christmas. Okay, so we're off to Nana's to open the fragile presents, which are in the back, um, and then go for lunch. Christmas wrapping sorted. So remember next year, come back to that so you can, you know, use them tips that I've told you. The fragile tape, the paper, the, the non ripping you know, it's all in there. So, you know, tell your friends if they have any trouble wrapping, then just to... Look at that and they'll be able to, you know, do amazingly. So I don't know about you guys, but because it's 2020, um, 2020, as far as I was ever aware, was that drink that you got like that in that little bottle. Um, I actually um, did pour 2020 in someone's eyes when I was younger by accident. 
um, I went to they went to drink it and I tipped the the bottle thinking I was hilarious and it just went in the eyes. So we nearly had a, a, like an incident on our hands. Now it's 2020, the year, who would have thought it? I would never have thought I would have got to this old. I'm not joking. Uh, I thought, you know, I would be one of them in the 20s. I'm not going to sit here and say new year, new me. I, I said I wanted to find my long lost cheekbones a long time ago and I haven't found them yet. So I'm not going to put that sort of pressure on us. I have got loads and loads of stuff that I want to do. Um, so basically, let's go guys, let's go. So please, please like and subscribe. Um, and please, if you could, write a comment below the video um, on YouTube. That would be amazing. Um, it's comments like that that help me go um, onto people's watch lists and things. So last night, I went to this place in Newcastle upon time to see in the new year. Hence why my hair's wet, because I've had to wash my hair twice because of the, the hairspray that I put on my quiff. I thought, special occasion, you know, let's get this Bristol's hairspray on. Um, it's a lucky, lucky I don't smoke, because I would have went up. Honestly, it, on, it, because of me, I'm sure that the ozone layer is fucked. I'm telling you. Too much Bristol's on that quiff. However, there was a special reason. I went to this place and it's called George Street Social. Now, George Street Social is somewhere that people can go who don't drink or you can go um, even if you do, but you, you won't be able to buy any drink in there. Um, it's it's a, called a dry bar and it's for people um, and friends and family of people who don't necessarily drink for whatever reason um, and it's a safe place it's really cool it's very well done out and um, it's very friendly it's got lovely food and um, it was a really good night so I'm very grateful uh, for places like George Street and um, so yeah get yourself down have a little look it is great and um, and apart from that that's my new year so new year going into the new year feeling incredibly grateful and um, incredibly excited and um, so I'm hoping you guys will come along with me um, and enjoy this journey with me and um, yeah see you soon guys next week for vegan mukbang peace <laughs>